Let me finish the order first. Thank you, my boss. <laughs> Too much today. Yeah, marhaba, ya Rabbi. To be honest, I miss you guys and I miss Foodex Furious. So today we are back with more food, more experience, and more places to see. So I was invited by a close friend of mine, Alex, who's known as Just Food DXB. to explore a new place in Water City. Let's go and meet him. Alex, how are you? Okay, good to see you. Good have you been? after Ramadan. Keeping fit and well. Thank huh? you, thank you. Well, I do try. <laughs> I mean, all the food you're eating. I know. It's very dangerous. It goes somewhere. Well, the eat has been good for us. Alhamdulillah. A couple of days off. Yes. And now we're back to ready back to in. eat some food, yeah? I'm back in action. You're hungry? Guys, I'll introduce you to Alex. Today he's getting bringing me to a unique place which has 11 different kind of restaurants. Well, yeah, so there's 11 <laughs> concepts in here. It's the best place for local homegrown food. You're going to absolutely love it. 11 different concepts with completely different menus. So I thought what we're going to do today, 11 minutes, 11 menu items, crash course on this place. I'm always ready for the challenge. Yeah? Especially I didn't eat anything just all day. I'm still at Ramadan timing. So now I'm going to break my fast with you. Good. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Alex, I'm ready, I'm set, and I'm ready to dive. Yeah, good, good. So this is the first place, this is the authentic Ceylon. This is a Sri Lankan fusion twist. Parent brownies, Chef Lanka, which is one of the oldest Sri Lankan restaurants in Dubai. These guys have brought in more for the international audience. Less crazy on the spice, but big, big on the flavor. This is their signature dish, the Sri Lankan mud crab. Guys, look at the size oh. of the crab. The one we're gonna eat that experience with you now. There we go. It's not too spicy. Really good it's not too spicy. Usually, Sri Lankan food is like really spicy. Yeah. Feel like fresh. Mm. What's your favorite part? The, the crab hand or the, the. No, the claw. The claw yeah. is my favorite. Oh, guys, check this out. Wow. And guys, you come here, you should try the Sri Lankan mud crab. It's a winner. Believe me, that dish, Alex, gonna you're going to love it. Right. Yeah? You're going to like it. Good, one for one. Now we're going to jump on the next one. Let me finish this <laughs> That's a unique dish, man. What is that? Like a oh. rice paratha? Exactly, exactly. We are at Meatish by Meeting Room. These guys are the grill masters. And this is their Meatish platter. We've got atomic prawns, arayas, old school chicken tikka, their famous psychedelic lamb chops. It is fantastic. These lamb chops, if you haven't had them, you need to order them. They are super good. Let me try the lamb chops. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know my, my favorite part of the lamb chop? Is this one that everybody throws away? The little oh. skinny bit of That's a... crust on the end of it. Sambal brawn, atomic brawn. That is so good. And you know the good thing about it? You don't feel really fat because it's like healthy. Everything is good. You just have the blend of spices in it. Exactly. Gives you a kick and go. Lean uh -huh. meats. We've got lean meats on this platter. Everyone's happy. Okay, I need five more minutes with this. You go on to the next one, I'll meet you there. Alas, guys. I'm going to go I've been here before in JLT. Yeah. I know this place. You know, you know, yes. Zenbai Streetery is like the OG Asian food hall. And I've got you my favorite dish, just the red curry stir fry. It's a little bit spicy, but I think you'll be okay. I'll be okay. Lots of chicken. And you'll get a bit of freshness and like lemongrass in there. You'll obviously get a bit of spice. He likes it. Mm. He likes it, I can tell. The spices are good. The spice is just the right you know, level, isn't it? Makes you want to eat more. Even. Exactly. No, I love that. We did a full episode, and this is like one of my favorite restaurants yeah. that I've been in. And you know what? You fall down, and the good thing about this is all done homemade. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to hold myself back. We still got. Nine more concepts to go through. You go ahead, start it, and I will come now. Let me <laughs> All right, this. on to the next place. <laughs> Let's go. 
but now this is the meat to eat. Well, this it's in this right? is sausage for Briggs pastrami sandwich. 15 days, Brian, and a 12 hour smoke in the smoker. You've got the perfect level of smokiness, saltiness level is spot on. Then the herb mayo there, the duck cheese, just to balance it out. We love a bit of that with the meat. They're really so tasty. Mm. I told you, I need to eat. That's the one. It just melts in your mouth. Absolutely love that. So Alex, before we leave, usually when you have a burger or a meat sandwich, there's a bit of meat and a lot of bread and everything. This is packed with meat. Look at the layers and how many meat you have inside. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. You've got a lot more concepts <laughs> to go, my friend. We need to save some space. Okay, let's save some space. Let's go to the next one. We already have an episode of High Joint. They started in Jumeirah, then Juanit, last exit. And now we're here today. I've tried all the burgers, all the dishes. But today there's something more unique than burger. Yeah. Which is... This is the double rib platter with some truffle mac and cheese, padron peppers. Straight in there. Wow. Guys, really, this is... A piece to eat. That tender, oh. dissolves in your mouth. The flavor of the meat, the way it's cooked, it's just perfect. This here is the Takai High with their homemade katsu sauce. The katsu sauce is incredible. Chef, will you do the honors? Oh, look at that. Oh. Up for me. And Thank you. Way. <laughs> oh, that is good. A lot of people can learn a thing or two about how to do a katsu sauce and high joint. That just makes the entire experience. How many more places are we? Five. With you. Yeah, five more places to go. I will be Tim. Let's go on to the next one. <laughs> and, soda and go ahead. <laughs> So today, we're, so this one here is Maru Udon. So this is a Japanese udon restaurant, the only udon restaurant in Dubai. They make these noodles fresh every single day. Now this one here is the umakara pepper, and this here is the curious elephant chili sauce. So curious elephant, another local business. Homemade oh, noodle, huh? Love it. Wow. Oh, that's so good. Mm. You know, the chili don't feel it until the second, third round. Yeah, now it's when it comes in, it's yeah, right yeah. there at the back. Very nice. Guys, look at the meat, the way it's shredded, the way it melts in your mouth, the different texture, the flavor. Oh, you can just eat all day. I don't think I can eat anymore. But looking at this, I'm looking at this good award for the chef was recognition. Yes. I mean, those guys accomplished a lot. Yeah, Mex recognized Mexican chefs around the world. These guys are the taco masters. Tacos Los Hermanos. We've got three different tacos today. So we've got the Baja fish taco. We've got the chicken. And this one is my favorite is the Berria taco. So it's slow cooked beef with a cheese crust on the tortilla. And then what you need to do is you need to dunk that in the sauce. I'll leave that one for you because that's the best one. Oh my God, man, I have so much beef today. I'm going to turning into a lion. I know. Oh my God, look at so that. So get a nice big dip. Mm. How good is that? Garden. By the way, I've never had fish taco. I mean, look at that fish guy. Check it out. Really flaky fish. The non alcoholic margarita and the horchata as well, they make it themselves. Make sure to get the chili sauces on it. Alex, I've never heard about this thing. Mm. So yeah. It's all yours now. No, I don't think a lot of people have. This is Shiok, so this is the only hawker style Singapore restaurant in Dubai. Oh, wow. Entirely. And this is quintessential Singaporean classic dishes. These are the harlot prawns. Sweet oh, and spicy. Wow. These are good, good. I've never had these before, but these are their best seller. Nice meaty prawns. Mm. Wow, look at that size. Just so good, mate. Mm. Nice balance between sweet and spicy. I just met a couple outside. They're like, we've been coming here every week since they opened. <laughs> this is our favorite <laughs> Singapore restaurant. And they're from Singapore. Yeah. And, and I'm sure if their guys are eating this, 
Music That's it. When you've got a lot of Singaporean people here trying the food, you know you're in the right place. Guys, if you haven't tried Singaporean food already, Shiok Neighborhood Food Hall, you're going to love it. I love it. Thank Bang. You. Next one. I don't think you need to talk about this one. <laughs> I can smell the truffle. I can see the way it's done. Well done, crispy. Yeah, oh you know. Oh my God, that's the pizza you want to have. Truffle Look pizza, I'll leave this to you. This is your ballpark all day. While he's eating that, we're at dough. So this is the Pizza Masters here at NFH. 72 hour fermented base or a sourdough base. You get to choose it. This is their truffle mushroom, one of their best sellers. I'm sure you've had some truffle pizza in your time. Oh, Give me your verdict. Oh, this is amazing, man. Look at it. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> he's still going. I thought he would have paid by now. Still going, guys. Still going. Yeah. We're doing great. You're doing great. Let's keep going. Come on, let's go. Alex, what's so special about this so fried chicken? This is Korean fried chicken. This is the only Korean street food restaurant in Dubai. Nampo casual Korean food. Wow. How juicy is that chicken inside? The wow. thing, guys, it's like melt in your mouth. It is so I've, soft. I've never tried Korean chicken in my life. And it has to be served with a Korean salad as well. Just to change the <laughs> flavor in your palate. That's good. I mean, you put it in and it just the bone falls off the bone. Good. You, do it? you can do it? No. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Guys, I work in JLT one tower, and every day I used to go to 1762. It was my favorite part, and I tried nearly every single day. Yeah. Time. So, you know this one? So, I decided I was going to get the burrata flatbread. Finally, no meat. I know, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I needed like a bit of a change. Oh, yeah. I need to Have a look at this. Give it to the people. There you go. This is the sourdough as well. I can taste it. Yeah, it is. Very light. You don't feel much much of a carb actually. And I can I easily can eat two or three pieces. That is actually much lighter than I was expecting it to be as well. And the marinara sauce that they use is fantastic. AJ, man, I am so impressed with you. I've never gone toe for toe with someone on an eating challenge come and on. seen them come up the other side. You even had room for dessert. Alhamdulillah, and thank you very much for this unique place. We're the 11 unique homemade restaurants, finals of the pizza we're having, the dough pizza. Yeah, you got the and Nutella dough pizza. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> every single meal that I had today was really unique. And I will come again and bring my old friends and my family but I will, I'll go slow this time, <laughs> one by one. I'm not going for the whole thing. Probably for the best. And no. you know what's nice about it, to be honest with you? If somebody wants two or three dishes from different places, yeah. you know, different desserts, they can come, they can enjoy, spend the, the time with the family. Yes. You know, just select and pick and choose. Because some kids don't like this, some adults don't like exactly. this. Exactly. And, and you can have everything here. You think you've hit the nail on the head. That's, That's why it. I love this place. It's like everyone can come and try an individual thing different flavors, bring it to the table, try a bit of everything. I don't know how you're still going. I'm gonna have, have a bit of mango sticky rice ice cream for me. Bravo, man, bravo. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel. There'll be many more collaborations coming in the future. Thanks for watching, see you on the next video. Oh, I know, yeah. <laughs>